Welcome friends. In this video, we are swapping out my original battery for a larger H8 battery and coding it into Forescan. I've been getting some low battery warnings in the morning while starting the truck. The symptoms included a startup bell, which had an odd tone and it was only coming out of a single speaker. And the turn signals would after that uh, click in an odd pattern. I had the battery tested and it seemed to be fine. So I thought maybe it was parasitic drain from the battery disconnect solenoid. Uh, which I had installed to run my rear bus bars and the DC to DC charger. But after some testing, I couldn't find any drain. Uh, so I thought it had to be the battery since it was going on five years old now. After some searching around, I found that Ford installed an H8 battery in its diesel variants. So the battery tray could accommodate that size. Every maintenance item I see as an opportunity to upgrade, so I purchased an Odyssey performance battery from Napa Auto Parts and a Ford Motor Company H8 battery blanket, that's the OEM blanket. To remove the old battery, I used a 10 millimeter socket to remove the nuts, which secure the terminals. I removed the negative side first and then the positive, making sure to keep the connectors away from the battery terminals. Then I used an 8mm socket to loosen and remove the battery hold down bar on the passenger side. Once it was completely removed, I lifted the battery out and vacuumed out the tray. The new Ford battery blanket fit right over top of the Odyssey battery. The new battery was much heavier and a little difficult to lift into place, but it fit in the tray with a little room to spare. I resecured the battery hold down bar and reconnected the terminals in reverse order. Now it was time to code the new battery to the truck's body control module or BCM. If you're simply replacing an old H7, all you have to do is reset the BCM. Uh, but I also had to change the battery type in the battery management system or BMS. After connecting to the truck, I went to the configuration and programming tab on the left, which looks like a computer chip, then to the body control module, module configuration. This is the as-built format. The normal one does not have the H8 available, so I had to go into the as-built format button. Uh, then I went to the appropriate line, which is 726-04-01, and changed the first two hexadecimal characters from 02 to 03. In this video, I also changed the checksum at the end, but this is not necessary or recommended, since the computer will automatically calculate and update the checksum. Anywho, there is no right button next to this line, so I clicked the right all button at the bottom. Confirm the change, uh, I've followed the prompts, and moved to the standard BCM configurator. You'll notice that it says incorrect value or not configured in the plain text configurator. This will pop up on any coding that isn't normally permitted with your vehicle, like turning off your daytime running lights. I also changed the battery state of charge to 90%, but I ended up changing it back to 80 later because I wanted to ensure the life of the battery. The last thing that I needed to do was to make sure that the battery monitoring system was reset to accept the new battery. So I hit the stop button on the configuration and programming tab and went to the service procedure tab on the left, which looks like a wrench. In this tab, I selected body control module, battery monitoring system reset and followed the prompts. Once it was done, I hit disconnect on the main tab, removed the OBD adapter, and started the truck. So, final thoughts are that the upgrade to a larger battery isn't necessary for starting purposes. Maybe you're worried about the alternator keeping up with your stereo system or winch, then you might consider this. Also, Forescan is an awesome tool. And I'll link the download website and OBD adapter in the details. Uh, there's still a danger of unintentionally damaging a module in your vehicle, so definitely use it at your own risk. And also make sure that you have a battery tender before you start coding. So it, it turns out that the OEM H7 Ford battery was still in excellent shape, even after five years. And I actually ended up selling it. Uh, the reason I was having a battery drain issue was not due to the battery, but actually the Cobb access port, which did not shut off half the time. It has an auto shut off feature, but it wasn't working. Um, I'm not logging, and while seeing the oil pressure and boost is comforting, it's not needed. Uh, so I, I just unplugged it and removed it completely. 
Uh, finally, I don't really know a reason not to do this. Maybe wait? But if the price is the same between an H7 and an H8, I'd rather just have the H8. Uh, hopefully this battery does last a long time and the battery management system doesn't cause any issues. Anyway, this video was actually supposed to be part of a longer maintenance episode, but since it's been so long since I've put out a video, I just wanted to get something out. Uh, you'll probably see some smaller episodes over the next month. But thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.